Here's Daddy with more Milliput Madness. Back on my lathe and back with some Milliput. I'm starting off by using my homemade jig to uh, centre this faceplate. And I'm screwing that on there with my impact driver and some good quality stainless steel screws. The last thing you want is these screws breaking off in the workpiece. Just removing the jig, and it's ready to screw on the lathe spindle. I'm using a 3 8 bowl gouge to start with. Freshly sharpened, always keep your tools sharp. And I'm riding the bevel here and just taking this corner off. This is going to form the base of the platter. Then a bit of shear scrape in there. And then back to push cuts. And I'm gradually creating that sort of bowl or underside of the platter shape. And in doing so, you're actually chewing up the blank as you go. It's been a while since I've been on the lathe, so I felt a bit rusty again, as usual. There always seems to be something keeping me out of my workshop these days. Anyway, here we are, back to uh, just truing up the base with a push cut. And uh, gradually removing the stock and getting it all nice and true. Like I say, a bit rusty. But getting back into the swing of it. Gradually creating that nice curve. There isn't going to be an actual foot on this. So I want it to uh, just be a nice smooth curve disappearing to the underside. Getting some nice clean cuts there. Very pleased with that. No tear out at all. Here I'm just putting some bigger jaws on my easy chuck, which is a very simple job. Changing these over. Great bit of kit. And I'm just measuring the jaws and transferring that measurement to the base of the bowl. And I'm now cutting a recess using the Easywood Tools carbide parting tool. This will be the recess for the chuck jaws. Just remove a bit of stock first with the parting tool and defining the recess. Then switching over to the uh, Pro Easy Rougher from Easywood Tools. Just running that backwards and forwards across that recess to flatten it out and uh, take out those imperfections. Skew just to create that little dovetail or undercut for the chuck jaws. And then doing a bit of sanding. It's a Hope Pro Sander. Chestnut Cellulose Sanding Sealer. A couple of coats of that. And then good old Yorkshire grit, which uh, you apply liberally with the lathe off, and then work it in a nice soft cloth. Then uh, I'm using the tail stock to line up the uh, chuck. Uh, I do this sometimes, it just ensures that it's really mounted true to centre. Just uh, expanding the jaws into the recess, then removing it from the spindle and taking off the faceplate. I can then mount it back on the lathe via the chuck and it's reversed. 3 8 bowl gouge here to do a bit of hollowing. As you'll see, I'm using a mixture of traditional and easy wood carbide tools. You know, use whatever works best for you for the for the job in hand, really. Doing a bit of hollowing with the bowl gouge. I uh, was backwards and forwards to um, the Pro Edge sharpening machine while doing this. Always keep a nice keen edge on your tools. Lots of push cuts. Just removing that stock. I'm trying to get a nice smooth curve to the uh, top side of this platter. Trying to avoid any tear out as well. This is sycamore, this uh, blank, and it can be quite bad for tearing out if you're not careful. It's particularly important I get a nice finish on this because I'm going to be applying colour. There is nowhere to hide if you're applying stain. It will pick out every little imperfection in the surface. So if you get deep tear out, it's going to cause you problems. And here I'm sanding up to 600. 
and I'm now marking out some lines for my design. Six lines with the divider equally spaced and this will create five bands that I can colour. And then it's back with the uh, carbide parting tool and I'm going in about three mil or an eighth of an inch depth here the width of the parting tool so I get nice even width lines for my inlays quite a quick job then it's black milliput been a while since I've done a milliput project and I was quite excited to get back into it comes in two parts it's an epoxy putty and you mix the two halves equal lengths and uh, it's just you know, it's at this point I realised I hadn't got gloves on so I went and put my gloves on it's always best to wear gloves for this stuff and then it's a case of kneading it and rolling it and if you roll it between your hands and then fold it and then roll it and fold it and roll it and fold it keep folding the edges and the ends in that way it'll all be thoroughly mixed but you want to do this for about five minutes be really thorough and then it's good old squidging time you've got to squidge it all into these grooves which is quite tedious it took quite a long while but, you, but it's easier if you roll it into little sausages and then squish them in there lots and lots of squidging and it as i say it did take quite a long time you want to make sure you don't leave any voids and that it's all slightly proud of the wood I've left it overnight so it's fully set and then this is the uh, Easy Wood Tools Pro Easy Finisher which is has become my sort of go-to tool for um, cutting back the milliput. You can use virtually any tool, it's just this one seems to do the job just as I like it really. I'm stopping at this point even though there's still a little bit of uh, proud milliput uh, but I'm going to sand the rest back. It's just where the bowls moved slightly overnight. And there we are, sanded to 800. And now for the colour. I'm using um, the Spirit Stains from Chestnut Products. And I'm using just two colours, blue and yellow. Using cotton buds to apply the blue and the yellow. And then I'm mixing the blue and the yellow to make a green. And then I'm mixing the green um, along with uh, the yellow 50-50 to give me a sort of a middle colour between the two just applying that and then I'm doing exactly the same with the middle green and the blue to give a middle colour just mixing that up using syringes for accuracy and then using my little q-tip or cotton bud as an applicator and there you go chestnut um, cellulose sanding sealer important to use the aerosol version so you don't smear your design two coats then denibbing it with some very fine and uh, some Yorkshire grit microfine which I'm working here and that just brings it up it's a lovely glassy finish You've got a lovely bit of chatoyancy going on there so off the chuck really happy with that and then quick change of the easy chuck chuck jaws gonna put on the big easy jaws here for reversing the bowl so I can finish the base really simple job using a cloth here just to uh, make sure I don't mark the bowl tightening it all down and then 600 rpm and I'll start with a bowl gouge. I'm just removing that recess because I want a nice professional look to the bottom of this bowl, nice and smooth. I'm just turning away that ridge there, creating a kind of a, well, not really a foot, but the base. And then a little negative rake tip on an easy wood finisher. Just removing a couple of little bits. And then sanding, power sanding here just to get it nice and flat and smooth. Branding it with my logo. And uh, final polish cellulose sanding sealer in Yorkshire grit again. Very pleased with that. 
There's the finished platter. Colourful one this time, sort of brighten every, everyone's day up through these difficult times. I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, you have used chestnut products, blue to yellow, graduating between the two. It's quite a deep platter, almost a bowl, kind of a blatter. Uh, sycamore, um, put my logo on the back there. Uh, used uh, spray sanding sealer for this because I didn't want the colours to smear which is uh, a risk if you use the liquid one and wipe it on and uh, of course my Yorkshire Grit Microfine which uh, is my go-to sort of finishing product for Milliput now it just, it just gives it a beautiful shine on there but I hope you like that many thanks to all my subscribers Turned the 40,000 mark this morning, which I'm really pleased about. Please like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get notified if I put a new video video up. It costs nothing to subscribe, but uh, it helps me a lot. But I'll be back again soon with some more uh, projects. Might be even some more milliput projects. Gone back to my roots a little bit on this one. But I hope you liked it. Give you another view. Take care everyone, stay safe. I'll be back soon. One last thing. When life returns to some sort of normality, I will try and get this up on my Etsy shop along with some other bowls and things. Uh, I've got a few uh, bowls and stuff that I'm gonna put on there. It's a case of getting around to do it. Um, not a lot of point at the minute while the uh, world is in the state it's in but um, yeah check out my Etsy shop in a few weeks time and there'll be a few things on there thank you very much for watching here's a turntable shot of the uh, the platter and uh, and a few stills coming up just to uh, give you a bit of detail uh, many thanks for watching and thank you very much to all my subscribers. As I said, it costs nothing to subscribe. And uh, if you can give my video a thumbs up, it, it really helps. Anyway, I'll be back soon with some more videos. Got all sorts of projects planned. I've got quite a list that I can work through. It's just uh, got a bit of time at the minute. So we'll see if we can get some done. Please like, share and subscribe. My daddy needs all the help he can get. More rubbish coming soon.